So welcome to this video for the Nissan Pulsar Ascenta uh, 1.2 petrol. Uh, this is DIG slash T. So it's the uh, T model engine. So it's a 1.2 petrol, 113 brake horsepower. A six speed manual, which is good, and only £30 a year tax. Let's start on the bodywork. Let's start on this corner. So as you can see, very clean. It's got this lovely carbon fibre uh, rear diffuser. As you can see, it's all factory fitted. Uh, Pulsar badging Nissan, so it's from this uh, Nissan dealer here, Fred Coop Nissan, uh, which is Preston up that way, Lancashire. You can see very good um, condition on the corners, nothing major to report at all. Uh, alloy wheels, uh, it's got the 16 inch tyres, 195-60-16s. Uh, at this time of the video it is Sunday and we have booked it in for tyres tomorrow Monday for four brand new tyres because it was advised on the MOT that all four tyres were down to the uh, legal limit on the outer edges so we're having that done uh, we've just had the MOT done which consisted of brand new brake disc and pads on the front there they're brand new items, two suspension arms, uh, full service as well so the service, oil filter, I think it's had the air filter as well service uh and that so we have spent about six or seven hundred pounds on this vehicle to make it uh, mechanically correct uh for the next owner to enjoy and it's also part of our um we've got a warranty company called warranty assist and they obviously uh, it's their requirement that all vehicles do come fully serviced and mot'd for the warranty because they don't want to be uh, putting a warranty on a vehicle that's only got a few months uh, mot and service left they uh, want to be guaranteeing things that already okay so yeah as you can see very good condition back to the wing mirrors are nice and clean no water ingress or cracks or scratches the screen's very good uh, there's no cracks or chips uh, it's got the uh, rain and light sensor there as well got the front end's nice there's no cracks or chips anywhere the headlights are nice and clear Back of that wing mirror, that screen. So everything is correct. Let's look in the boot. Let's look in the boot. Open that up here. Everything is here. The rear shelf, the strings are all complete there as well. All that's nice and clean up here. No green moss growing around there. Uh, all this is nice. There's no scratches on the plastic there. That's all nice and clean. The rubber is there as well. The rubber's not worn and the top of the uh, boot there is in really good condition okay it's got this removable uh, pulsar liner boot liner which was a aftermarket extra as you can see so underneath there is really clean so that's the plastic liner so the split fold rear seats as well 4060 and then under here we've got the spare wheel and we've also got the tire foam kit as well so it's got a spare wheel i think that must might have been afterwards because these cars either come with a spare wheel and a tool kit or the um the tire foam kit uh, and this hasn't got the tool kit so it's got the spare wheel no tool kit but it's got the tire foam okay uh so that's all nice and clean up here as well no scratches etc it's all good so we'll close that uh let's look in the rear so the rear door rear door is nice and clean this door card it's got the leather or should we say vinyl pvc armrest with the white stitching all this is nice and clean no trap seat belt marks on the uh, door shuts there all that's nice and clean no um i should say no scuffs or scratches it's got the tailor fitted car mat set with the pulsar logo on the uh, on the front mats uh side airbags as you can see there the side airbags some magazine holders on the backs of the seats which are very nice and clean three headrests three full-size seat belts child isofix anchoraging points all the seats are in very good condition as you can see there's no um, marks or um, cigarette burns etc doesn't smell of dogs or cigarettes as well that's a good sign you've got your drinks holder there which looks like no one's ever used uh what else have we got at the back here obviously split fold rear seats you just pull them down like that it's a very easy Put that back. okay Let's go to the other side, show you the other side door card, make sure you're happy with that. Make sure there's no scratches, no damage, nothing at all there. 
everything's nice and clean the door shuts are nice and clean like I said no scuffs or scratches on there a few little marks there from the seat belts just a few on there which I must make you aware of there uh, carpet there that's nice let's go to the front seat this is also a keyless entry as well so if you look on there you've got a little button there so it's got the keyless entry fob you press that to lock and unlock it so on both front doors you've got the keyless entry so you know you've got your shopping in your hands and your keys in your pocket you can actually just go up and just tap that button and it will lock and unlock okay all that's nice and clean pulsar car mats that seat immaculate condition dashboard is clean it's got this kind of like a, a, a like a woody green black look uh, fascia so it all carries through there look okay uh let's go around to the driver's side the driver's side open the driver's door same again there's nothing out of the ordinary at all there it's got the locking uh, oh sorry let me go to this electric windows four it's got the electric wing mirror as well there uh, there's a locking wheel nut there and it's got the four um, extra or spare uh, nuts as well from the uh, from when it was uh, from when it was done if you know what I mean when the locks were fitted so someone's actually fitted must have fitted these afterwards so this locking uh, wheel nut set must have been fixed afterwards and they've got the spare obviously nuts there so Pulsar tailor fitted car mat set all the pedals are nice and clean Oh, that's in good condition. The driver's seat has got the height adjustment lever there. The seat's very clean. If you get in under here, you've got the uh, bonnet release and the fuel release cap there. Traction control, etc. So I'm going to pop the bonnet. Oops. Pop the bonnet, look under there first. Before we start the engine. Okay. So under here is nice and clean, this is the 1.2 4 cylinder engine, so it's got 4 spark plugs as you can see, One, two, three, and the 4th one is under that coil pipe there. Uh, it is a timing chain engine as well, so it's a sealed unit, the timing chain's there so the timing chain doesn't have to be replaced, uh, not like a rubber belt, so that's one less maintenance cost to worry about. All this is nice and clean, there's nothing out of the ordinary, there's no cracked plastic panels, uh, there's no round clips missing anywhere. So it all looks nice and uh, original. Up here, all that's nice and clean. Up there's nice and clean. Okay, just let's get into this vehicle now. Let's start the engine. As you can see, there's no there's no keyhole there because it's the push button start. The keys there. So we put the foot on the clutch, it tells you there, clutch down, uh, and then, hang on, let's do this, press, hold, everything lights up, let's turn the volume down, everything's there, okay, so we're good to go, uh, half a tank of fuel, half a tank of fuel, I've just put uh, £25 in, the, the light was on, uh, so we filled it up, uh, to be fair, if you go to a car dealer to look at a car and there's the fuel light is on, I just walk away. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You're selling a car, you're professional service, and there's no fuel in the car. It's it's not good. So that's one of the uh, main things I look at uh, when I look for a vehicle. Make sure the petrol light's not on. It's bad for the car as well, having uh, low fuel because it drags up all the dirt from the bottom of the tank. So as you can see, this steering wheel has got the uh, controls here for the uh, volume and the track for the CD and radios uh, you've got cruise control which is really good uh, for a little car like this having cruise control is great also it's a six-speed gearbox which is good that means it's more economical it will do up to 67 miles per gallon something like that 65 or 67 uh, it's got the radio stations uh, it's got the Bluetooth as well so you can do your Bluetooth uh, with the menus there it's got dual zone climate control so as you can see, left and right temperature settings. Uh, the aircon does work as well. We've had it on. Yeah, you can hear it clicking in. It's ice cold. Uh, stop start button there. 
uh, the key there. Unfortunately, we've only got one key with this vehicle, so uh, please don't turn up and start telling me that it's only got one key. I'm telling you now, it's got one key. Uh, like I say it's a second hand vehicle sometimes, or in most cases these day, days, people misplace their keys, and uh, yeah, there there's only comes with one. So you've got your drinks holder there, very clean, just valeted by our man John. Lift the armrest out. We've got the AUX uh, input and the USB input and a 12 volt uh, plug there as well. So your 12 volts right down here. Okay, so that's that. Uh, handbrake lever. What else have we got? So this car has got a lot of the extras like the driving aid, like that. So uh, it's got like an assistance package. Okay, and then up here you've got the sunglasses holder up here. She not left any. It was the lady owner that had this before. She's not left any, it's all nice and clean as you can see all those pillars and roof lining and the uh, the sun visors are all nice and clean. There's no no dirt anywhere, doesn't smell of dogs or smoke. Got the tweeters up here, so it's a, it's a nice sounding stereo system. Uh, the computer reset there, the light, the cluster, uh, the switches there for the traction control uh, and the automatic uh, stop start, so it is a what we call it AGM battery, so it's stop and start. Okay, uh, that's why the emissions is so low and it's only £30 tax. What have we got here? So we've got all the uh, paperwork here, so we've got everything. Uh, we've got the service booklet, the manuals, etc. So we can look at the service schedule here. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got six service stamps. Uh, and we've got uh, so we've just serviced it there. Look, seventy-four thousand and nine miles, twenty-seventh of the fifth, twenty-twenty-two. Uh, last one was sixty-three thousand miles. Halfords Auto Centre, Halfords Auto Centre again, uh, and all these have got uh, receipts to back them up. Well, so we've got the log book there, uh, which says here it's twenty-eighth of the ninth, twenty fifteen. It's the Pulsar D-I-G-T. And if you look on the bottom of the uh, logbook there, two former keepers. Uh, and this lady's had this since the 6th of the 2nd, uh, 2021. Then this uh, MOT here, which was just done on the 27th of the 5th, 2022. Uh, it advised the tyres, all of them which we're having brand new ones fitted tomorrow. Uh, all the previous MOT, so all it says here, look, this is the failure on the MOT. It failed on the ball joint, excessively worn near side front lower. So those have both been replaced. The suspension arm has all been replaced, etc. And then uh, that's the seventh. So the last one there, another one there. So some MOTs. So this was the uh, sales invoice when uh, the lady bought it last at 63,000 miles last year. Uh, so it's a Nissan dealer she bought it from. So all the checks were passed. And all the tyres were at 5 mil then, so they're down to about 3 mil now. So, and then you've got the HPI report, a brake test report. You've got the invoice here from Halfords Auto Centre for the last um, major service, uh, 59. No, the previous year, sorry, 59,000 miles, had brake disc as well uh, on the rear, uh, and it was 512 we spent there. Um, so that's by them. Then another one here, which was a uh, service carried out there. Service carried out there. And then another one there at 37,000 miles. So quite a few invoices there to back up the service. It's all cool. So, I'm going to get out of the vehicle, walk around it once more, and we're done. We're done. Okay, so, let's have a look what we've got. So, let's walk around it. You can hear the engine. Well, that's got the air conditioning on as well. So, with the air conditioning on, it does sound a little bit louder. It's clicking in and out. Let me go and switch the air conditioning off, and then we can listen to the engine without the air conditioning on. Switch those off. Off. Okay. Switch that off. Give that a second, that aircon pump will switch off. But it's good to know that the aircon does work. Uh, if you've got a part exchange, we will accept a part exchange. Just simply give us the uh, mileage and the full reg number, and we will give you a quotation or a rough quotation 
Uh, we also do delivery, deliver anywhere in the UK, uh, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. So yeah, we have got a contact in Ireland, so we can go to Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland, Ballymena. We've got a chap there called MB Motors, uh, which is uh, Malcolm, a good friend of ours. He's got a garage, so what we've done, I think we've done probably half a dozen now, where the, 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 the people from Ireland say, you know, want it delivered to Ireland. So we get it over there. Uh, small cars, a uh, tractor fee of £350 to get them over there on the wagon. Uh, and the larger ones are £100 more to get it there. So Northern Ireland, not a problem. We could also deliver to places like Jersey, which we have done before. So we do a meet and greet. So we take the vehicle on a wagon to Southampton at the docks. We uh, upload it to the, uh, to the ferry and then you uh, greet it on the other side. Obviously we do a video before we send it off, make sure everyone's happy. They also do a video at Southampton, make sure everything is in the uh, mint condition, no damage, no scratches, etc. So, okay, f hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we are open seven days. Also we do provide finance. This vehicle can be financed up to five years as well. 65 regjet, you can have five years on this one. Uh, we've got our own in-house finance team. Uh, that's James who's in charge there. James is our finance manager and he will give you a call and run through the figures and give you the uh, best possible interest rates based on the year and mileage of the car and your personal credit score. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.